Hello everyone, this is Joao from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the meninges of the brain. This tutorial will be discussing the meninges of the brain which are then connective tissue membranes. They enclose the central nervous system or CNS and are made up of three layers. We will also be looking at the arterial and venous systems closely related to the meninges of the brain. And to do so, we're going to mainly use this image here of the superior view of the brain, where we just have all these membranes here that we're going to be looking at and a few of the structures that are related or nearby. This tutorial will be discussing the meninges of the brain, which are then connective tissue membranes. Now the outermost layer is known as this one that you see here highlighted in green, the dura mater. As I mentioned, this is the outermost layer, which is the first structure we will look at. Its name means strong or tough mother due to the fact that it is actually the strongest of the membranes that cover your brain and spinal cord. It is derived from a mesoderm and it forms the dural venous sinuses, which transfer blood from the superficial veins of the brain to the jugular vein and then to your heart. The cranial and vertebral dura mater has two layers. Now, the first or superficial layer forms the skull's periosteum. It is known as then the periosteal layer. While the second layer forms the supporting capsule of the brain. This is known as the meningeal layer. The inner meningeal layer of the dura mater forms reflections and infoldings known as the first one that you see here highlighted in green, the falx cerebri, which is a sickle-shaped part of the dura mater projecting downward into the longitudinal cerebral fissure and separating the two cerebral hemispheres. We also have then uh, this one that you see here highlighted, the tentorium cerebelli, which you also see here from this image of the base of the skull. This is the part of the dural sheet uh, that spreads out between the ridges of the petrous part of the temporal bone and the transverse sinus, separating the cerebellum and the brain stem from the occipital lobes. It can be said uh, that uh, the Tentorium cerebelli canopies over uh, the posterior cranial fossa, covering the cerebellum like a tent, and for this reason we call it then tentorium. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.